You know what I'm saying? Going straight in, straight in, straight in. Ain't no, ain't no, ain't no none of that. You going straight in. <laughs> ain't no prepping. Good. All right, we here. Back live. Back live on the uh, podcast. We need answers. We got the bartender episode. Right now, everybody know the corona shit going haywire, so y'all got plenty of time to listen, plenty of time to get your drinks and pour up to this. We're going to start from the top to bottom, everybody. Um, I always say how I know everybody. Bree, I knew Bree for some years now, very long time. A lot of mutual friends, all that. Kids, same thing, very famous bartender at her spot. That's why everybody ran in and out of that spot. But uh, before that, been doing it for a long time. We got... Oh, at the top. Oh, yeah. his family. That's that's my my young my young uncle right yeah, there. <laughs> that's old on the on the interest music too. The podcast too. Check this shit out, Mizzle. Shit out. Nelly, Nelly, we go Nelly back said. as well. Nelly, we go back a long time. And Crystal, we go back time. I don't know when, but <laughs> that's, you know that's this how city, you know it was a long yeah, time. Yeah, <laughs> this city so small. You know everybody yeah. know everybody. That but, was before we could legally drink. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. <laughs> Been turning up ever since. But you know. Uh, most important one of the, the like I say every episode, everything that every episode is about something that's special to everybody life and everybody drink. Well, I mean everybody got these vices. But right. drinking, especially right while we indoors, quarantine and all that, you know, that's probably the number one thing everybody getting to bartending and drinking. Homemade bartenders, all that. Yeah. So starting off, I want everybody to talk about how y'all got into bartending from the from day one, you know, what's the process and how y'all got into it. Well I wanna kick it off. I kick it off. Go ahead. I got in with this one. Shit, it was hustling to me. You know what I'm saying? We yeah. hustle every day. You know what right, I'm saying? Right. Shit, it was money every same thing on the street. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, fuck <laughs> this shit. I'm gonna go bar town. I know what I'm saying. Fuck that. You know what I'm saying? I know everybody. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Shit, it's gonna show a nigga love. You know what I'm saying? You know So it's like, shit, I ain't no, I ain't no, it wasn't nothing. So it's like, I don't be, and actually when I be going, I don't be saying too many niggas like me be behind the bar. You know At what I'm all. saying, though? Some niggas be coming in like, you a bar? Who's your bar? You know what I'm saying, though? I mean, they usually look like us. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I know, yeah, but it's like, it's just something that I wanted to do. Mm-hmm. Switch it up, you know what I'm saying? And I, and, I, and I fuck with it, it's cool. You know, I meet a lot of people, you know what I mean? I, and it just. It is. You feel me? I'm, it's so cool. wait, where do you bartend at? Because we don't all know each other. Oh, so I'm you gotta plug in a spot for when the corner ain't open. Yeah, down Blueberry. I'm seeing down Blueberry. Me and Nelly Nell. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and you just down, you a rookie in the game. You been bartending how long? Since November. Okay. Since November. I started in November. Nah, nah, nah. I went to school for it though. I'm like, I've been burning. You know. At ease and shit. Now that shit ain't nothing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I do this, you know, and just keep me out of, keep me out the way. You know what I'm saying, though? Yeah, right. Keep me out the way. Um, I don't be with no dumb shit. You know what I'm saying, though? I don't be with none of that. You know, just come drink with me, party with me, and laugh with me. You know what I mean? Like, I don't be with none of that. You know, just come drink with me, party with me, and laugh with me. You know what I mean? Like, I don't be with none of that. Okay. Nelly, how you Okay. So, I wanted to bartend for years. And I'm like, I think my biggest... The biggest reason why I didn't for so many years is because of school. And I'm like, I got to go to Boston school. I don't want to go to Boston school. I just want to do it. You know what I mean? So once I found, it was actually their cousin. He posted a post on Instagram. Darrell, saying, yep. Crazy Chase. Yep. Shout out Crazy Chase. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. Ass. So yeah. he basically posted something saying that he needed Boston as a service. So I'm like, all right, I can kind of sneak in on the service side, but I don't want to serve. I want Boston. So mm-hmm. I'm like, are oh, y'all training? At that point, they was like, yeah, mm-hmm. we are. This was last year, last February. So... Once I um got in the day, I didn't know what I was doing. I did. <laughs> <laughs> and then, you know, certain people, they'll play with you when they don't know what you know. You, you, yeah. you, you don't know shit. So they like, you Try know, I want this. So I'm like, what is that? You know what I mean? So I asked somebody like, oh shit, they asked for this. What is that? They're like, oh, that's just vodka and cranberry. But people yeah, know what you yeah, want. Yeah, yeah. No such Try shit. You know what I mean? So yeah, when I, um, like I said, I've been there for a year. I left and I just recently been back. But that's how I started, just basically going in new, brand new, not knowing what I'm doing. Even now, like, it's certain drinks I don't know how to make, but I'll go on. <laughs> they be like, I need this. I'm like, all right, how you want it? We and both be right. banging them up. Do y'all feel like with bartending, you can learn as you go? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. That's what I'm saying. Like, that's why I'm like, I'm not, I'm not paying for school. Okay. You know what I mean? Because yeah. I know people that went to school that yeah. never went forward with it. So, mm-hmm. like I said, I'm going to bag, and I'm like, how you make this? You know what I mean? Real yeah. quick, on my phone, come back. They don't know. Yeah. They don't know what's going on. Right. But yeah, that's how I started. 
Oh, so we're going to move it over here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so... Um, well, you... <laughs> Listen, I'm going to move Well, no, because you got it. Yeah. 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 Um, but I got started bartending. I've been doing this probably going on like 11 years. Um, I actually started at the 2 o'clock club. Shout out to Tony Austin. Okay. And this was back in the day. So this was back in the 09, 07 days where it all the niggas was getting money. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Females was coming into the strip club and they was leaving with their purses filled with right. money. Right. Check this check this strip episode number two on the podcast. They talk about all that. <laughs> like, this, is, this is fact. So this is how you know I'm telling the truth. So when I came in, I was never the type to be like, oh, let me try to get this money about the yeah. food. I'm like, no, how can I be a part of making this money yeah, yeah. legitimately? Because yeah. I'm already hanging out here, right. mm-hmm. so I might as well get paid to party. Oh, yeah. So I started out as like a, back then they was calling service hostess. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. It wasn't bottle service. Okay. But we would tend to all the VIP guests, so if they had a celebrity coming in, that's, it was the people that both sections, that's who you would work with. So as, I guess, things slowed down, people mm-hmm. wasn't buying bottles like they was. All the drug dealers pretty much getting locked up. That's really game changing. Game changing. Game changing. Game changing. Game changing. Game changing. <laughs> but people still gonna come out. So I'm like, listen, I gotta think of a business that's never going out of style. Right. Mm-hmm. So it's either death, that's like the yeah, funeral home, yeah. pussy, yeah. and I don't trick all oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, alcohol. So alcohol is what it is and then I took a break. That was a smart idea. And then, <laughs> truly, yeah. I took a break and then I got back into it maybe Three, four years ago, um, y'all know my good friend Howard, H. French. Shout out to H. French. Shout out to uh, H. He was doing his first, like, happy hours, pretty much. And I'm like, you need a boss. And then he was doing them at a place where I work. So I'm like, I'm plugging myself in at this point. And then I just got on again from there. But once you already have a following... You know, the crowd is different now. So we partying with people that's 10, 12 years Young, younger. Young, yeah, right, right, so right, I'm right, still thinking right. about my old money. Right, so I'm right, like, right. how can I get my old heads yeah, out that's yeah. going to drop a $100 tip right, for one right. drink right. versus the people that's like, I need my dollar. Yeah, yeah. right. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the youngest, right. The youngest don't tip well. No, know. I'm sure we're going to get into it. Yeah, we will. We will. Um, go ahead. Go I, ahead. Don't let me interrupt. But that's how I got back into it. So I started in 08, 07. Took a break, did private events, went back to neighborhood bars, now I'm back in clubs, lounges. Okay. Wherever I need to be. Oh, Bree, Bree. <laughs> All right, I'm Bree. Um, I started back in 2015. Um, I was working at a salon, I was in his, his studio, and it was a client, which is actually Tony Austin's wife, Tanya. Uh-huh. And um, it was my, I had just come back to school full time. I quit my daytime job, and I was just like, I need money. Like, I have bills, I have a child. Right. So I was, actually talking to Tony and I told her, you know, I want a bartender. She's like, well, go down to two o'clock club. So she called Tony. Tony co- told me to come down the very first day. The strippers were like, you should be a dancer. <laughs> and I was like, no. Like, and I, what you was and I was like, no. Like, That's not me. I'm very, very shy. So it kind of, it just was too much. So yeah. I went back to work. I was just like, she, she was like, how was it? I was like, they were trying to get me to be a stripper. And I was no. like, I can't be a stripper. <laughs> Nothing against strippers. I love strippers. No. Get your money how no. you get it. No. But it just wasn't for me. So, um, no. so <laughs> it was another lady in there at the time. And she was like, well, I know the owner of the Five Mile House. So she's like, let me call him. So she called him and she told him about me. And I was in bartender school at the time. He told me to come up there. So when I went, um, he was leaving, but I introduced myself. He was leaving out. And he's like, Go in there and talk to the manager. It was a female. So when I went in, she's like, oh, we're not hiring. That's so I'm like, right. okay, that's she's weird. Hating. Like, yeah, right. she's she's it, I love her, though. Yeah, I love <laughs> oh, her. But back then, I was kind of like, that's weird. You know, he told me to come in there. Yeah. So I was like, okay. She's like, you can just fill out an application. So I filled the application out. And then my very last, this was while I was in bartender school. My very last day of bartender school, I took my test. And I remember leaving out for lunch. And as I'm leaving out for lunch, a man was walking into the bartender school. And he recognized me. I didn't recognize him. And he's like, hey, you remember me? I'm like, no. He's like, I'm Merc from the Five Mile House. I was like, oh, you're the one that told me to come. Right. So he's like, what happened? I said, she said you're not hiring. Right. Mm-hmm. So he made a face, pulled out his phone, and he talked to he called someone. He's like, you start next week. And ever since then, mm-hmm. I've been at the Five Mile House, and that's home. That's number one. Um, I'm now at Socialized Lounge every Friday with Crystal, with right. partners. Yeah. Come see us. Shout out, Shout out to Marcus and G. And, um... I've worked at Slate, I work for Rod Stern, so I do all Rod's parties, I've done private parties, 
and I have a twin. I actually, you know, got my twin in there as well. So we both work at the side of my house and we both work for Broad. So that's how I got it. Shout out Don Nick. <laughs> so I've been bartending now. Um, this kid for, speaking. Yeah. Yeah, I think I've been bartending for five years, but I've always been like in the restaurant service industry. Um, I've been doing that probably for about 10 to 15 years. So the way I actually started bartending was I was a cocktail server at Merlin Wine. I never forget, and I had a good friend, and we like there. I can't lie, when that casino first opened up, we was just hustling. It was a hustle, <laughs> like you know. Yeah. So I had one good friend or whatever. Just, like I worked morning shift, so that was definitely a hustle. Okay. Like, you ain't never, a lot of money in the morning. It, right? No, it was money in the morning. Oh, okay. When I first okay. started, like when the casino first opened up, uh, it was lots of money to okay. be made in there. Yeah. Okay. I thought the morning shift mm -hmm. was slow. Oh, because people want no. money. They go quality over day. quantity. No. Exactly. Mm -hmm. I'm, you yeah. Quantity that. don't that's, mean nothing. That's it the was, point. It was quality. Prime, that's but the point. But it was the definitely tension. more. It, I was. I wasn't leaving unless I had four hundred dollars a day. Right. In the morning. Right. So I had one good friend, she had told me how she had, um, well, I always used to go to Loafers, but she was telling me, you know, I work at Loafers, and I work here in the morning, and I go there at night, so this girl making like over a thousand dollars a day. Mm -hmm. So she like, you should come up there, I can get you in. So I'm like, alright, cool. And so I go up there, and um, I filled out an application, and in my mind I'm thinking like, I'm going to be making all this money, you know. Then what so happened was, I'll, um, the management at Maryland Live started Fucking with our money for real, saying that we had to split our tips. That is a no no for me. That, especially if I'm grinding, I'm yep. hustling. Some of these girls is lazy. They we not all on the same page. I'm not splitting nothing. So I literally worked at Loafers and Merlin Live for like two days, and then after that, I was just like, I can just stay here, like saying I can stay at Loafers. So I quit. I walked off the floor, and I never looked back. And um, so I actually started as a servant at Loafers. So I did that for like three months and. One of my good friends, she was like, here, Rio, we can really use you back here. So, and that's Tasha, y'all might know her, Crema de la Creme. She has like a big brand. I've um, heard of her business. Yeah, she does like um, Artscape. She has a lot of big contracts. Yeah, okay. yeah. So Tasha, shout out to Tasha. Tasha was like, uh, yeah, Tasha. Um, Kira, I think you would be good back here. So I just went to my bars. I never had no bartending experience, but I've always been around with good, right. you know, going to college and playing bartender. Mm -hmm. So I told him, like, I think I want to be a bartender. He was like, I think you would be a great fit. So they literally threw me back there. I know y'all know what service bar is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you just make all the drinks for the restaurant, right? Mm -hmm. Not, I'm interacting with the customers, right. but you mainly mm -hmm. making the drinks for the customers. <laughs> exactly. mm -hmm. So that's how I learned how to make the drinks, you know, and how to really blend it in mm -hmm. where it's drinkable. Because cool, just right? because it's, you know, just because you got a lot of liquor in it, like, you know, no, it's not you need to learn how to blend <laughs> the drinks. Drink. Like, you have to blend the drinks, you know? Right, you Everybody wants their drinks strong, but they don't want to really taste the liquor. Right. <laughs> Who really <laughs> want to taste the liquor? Right. You know? Uh, so that's people how. that come to motherfucking Medusa. Well, <laughs> you know, that's if you're drinking straight yeah. No, but no, you can not. still blend your drinks and I thought this new thing, and people were returning drinks to me saying, like, can you put some more juice? Like, what is this? And I'm like, what you mean? Because I like my shit strong. So they be like, I need some more pineapple juice or something in here. So I'm like, let me start for the for the females that like, you know, drinks like certain yeah. sweet drinks. They don't want to taste the alcohol. Yeah, and I, I know a lot of strong. Like they drink strong. But see, this is this is what I noticed, and I feel like this is how I can tell if you are young mm -hmm. or old, mm -hmm. especially when you work in like a lounge or a club where you're just interacting with a variety of people. Yeah. People that come to the bar and they like, well, let me can I get something fruity but strong? Yeah, right. <laughs> Maybe that's an oxymoron. Yeah. They don't even yeah. like yeah. go together, right? right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or they they took you took five minutes to get to them because you're waiting on your customer right. and you get to them and they like, can I get a um? Yeah. I hate that shit. Um, but, but, yeah. and it's like, baby, either you know, because at this age, I'm in my 30s, right? Because I'm approaching mid 30s. I know what the fuck I drink. Right? They, I ain't got to look at, I might look at the ball just to see if y'all got the liquor. Yeah. But I'm not like, well, can you mix me up something? Yeah. And I'm like, okay, baby, but what you want in it? Something strong, but what kind of liquor do you exactly. drink? Exactly. Then you oh, make it, no. and it's like, well, I don't really like right. candy. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Like that's what you deal yeah. with. So I can tell your age by the what your <laughs> order and, and what you tip difference. Yeah. Yeah. So we got three other bartenders just stepped in the building. Y'all can come up and introduce yourselves and where y'all working on. Name is Lane. 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 Lane.
just you can just chip in on the mic. Just go ahead. Go ahead. Well. You are definitely late. Hello, it's Kara. Um, Hello. 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 So I did mostly serving though. Like serving is like my thing. I did taco serving for years and years. Yes, <laughs> So then my friend Shamaya from Maryland, she actually um, got me more into bartending because she has a bartending company called Gordon Center. Mm-hmm. So she kind of just wanted us. It's kind of, we didn't do like heavy bartending because it was just kind of like a little makeshift bar set up. But um, she kind of just had us all come in to just be our candy behind the bar, <laughs> making some quick drinks right. and then making some quick money. And then I just thought it was just easier, you know, to conserve it. Right. I do it now, my job now. Noir, serve, and be bartend too, so. Dang. That's my business. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> ladies. Hi, my name is Jerry. Um, I started bartending at Hooters, same as Lakira, where we actually met. Um, same story, she said they made us train behind the bar because, you know, girls like to go on vacation. So whenever somebody had to be going, you had to be able to fill in anywhere you can. And from there, um, I moved to Atlanta, and I was too young to bartend in Atlanta because in Baltimore you can start bartending at 18. I was 20 when I moved to Atlanta, so they stunned me. I had to do bottle service, (laughs) cocktail serving. When I moved back to Baltimore, I started bartending at MGM. Well, casino floor cocktail serving and then bartending at the pool at MGM. Left there and went to the Lord Baltimore Hotel. And now I'm just like in nightclubs. I was at Safari, now I'm at Game. And... It's been like 10 years, and I, I love Martha. Yeah, like, yeah. It's up. been a long time. We get old. Um, yeah. Oh, oh. She, <laughs> see, my name is Sue. My name is Sue. I'm pretty much new in the game. Um, I've been bartending for almost a year now. Not quite yet. Um, I guess me having my hours cut back short at my regular job made me want to get more money mm-hmm. so I always had an interest in bartending but I never that kind of forced me to get out there and do it so mm-hmm. I've been at Noir for almost a year now and yep yeah. the baby yeah. <laughs> nah, Omar, Omar actually the yeah, baby he just started in November and I just been fresh out so okay. so everybody so so my next question is everybody here basically that did rest like bars and parties right yeah. I ain't do a party yet. Yeah, you ain't do a party yet. So talk about let's let's talk about the difference between working a party versus a, a restaurant or a bar. Mm-hmm. I'll start with mm-hmm. my go ahead, go ahead. So working the bars and compared to Ross Stern. Mm-hmm. You know, that's a party that lasts yeah. three, four hours. And Ross Stern, open bar. Open bar. Mm-hmm. So usually we start usually this party starts at six o'clock. Usually the customers come two hours before the party's over, maybe three. <laughs> so we just get them in and out. They come, they leave. Um, where so the restaurant is more so. For example, at sleep. No, I'm sorry. At um, socialize, I'm there from five. You know, always. Sometimes a wet person too. So it's a long day. You know, we work. We work real hard for our ten. Um. So I would say that's the difference. Parties, they just want their drink and they go. Mm-hmm. Whereas though, at the bars and the restaurants, they just sitting. And you know. Complaining sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> the parties yeah. are different for me, only because I've done bottle service and yeah, bar you know, you know and party. Mm-hmm. And for people that don't know me in the room, y'all know I've worked in Atlanta at this point. I've worked in Houston. Yeah. Um, catch me in New Orleans once the quarantine is over. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I enjoy bottle service more same. at parties mm-hmm. versus bartending. Yes, yeah, and you make more money because, like, when I um, thank you. Mm-hmm. When I bottle service one, uh-huh. your money is always already guaranteed mm-hmm. because you're getting either a percentage off a bottle, right. a certain dollar amount off of every bottle. Split, yeah. it's still well, good. we we ain't well we split off the bottles, but not off the of over tips. Right. Mm-hmm. So basically, it's guaranteed. Money. Yeah, it's guaranteed, guaranteed money walking in the door. Like if you know it's 32 sections, mm-hmm. two bottle minimum, you already know. Yeah. And then you know how many people you work on, so you know how to get in the body. Then on top of that, like for me, because I've been around so long, I know so many people. And the team I work with, 
we gonna pick our niggas or the people that mm -hmm. we know. Mm -hmm. So if you come in and you buy three bottles, all right, cool, that's good. But now I'm like, well, where my tip? Exactly. Because that ain't included, yeah. right? And you know who you're dealing with. And I know who I'm dealing with. Yeah. Now when you bartending, who child? <laughs> the ghetto, okay? <laughs> The ghetto, like I appreciate, you know, my customers, every single one of them, every dollar adds up. Yeah. But when you bartend at a party, you don't know what you're getting. Mm -hmm. no. You're going to get the person that want a double shot, but want to pay only for a single mm -hmm. shot because they don't realize what a real measured drink yep. is. Right. Right. Not at all. So they want extra for nothing. Mm -hmm. Or they it's the female that then basically stood at the bar, I call them bar pirates, they didn't stood here. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't stood here for 10 minutes, yeah. not buying shit, yeah. but... Just a minute ago, you asking me how much is water. But now, <laughs> but now the nigga came over and he drinking shots of 42. So I'm like, well, what was this? Well, what was this? Right. Right. But then when you take it to somewhere like Socialize, yeah. which I, I have, I, you know, I appreciate, you get regular customers. Even if you're not, you don't have regulars yet. Like, I'm new to Socialize. But customers look out because it's a neighborhood, it's a neighborhood bar. Yeah. So I could make what I make at Socialize in one night, a couple hours. Like, say, three to four hours, mm -hmm. like, that's going to be more than what I make behind the bar at other parties for the whole month. Okay. Yeah, we make, wow. we make like, great money at Social Yeah, and that's then that's when that. you got a team that you work with, like, me and Bree, we work together <laughs> really well. So yeah. it's not like, like, I ain't worried. You know how y'all work with some bartenders or bottle service? They worried about your pocket. Yeah. 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 Like, they work. So I ain't worried about it. Like, I want her to have a good night. I'm going to have a good night. I don't care if tonight she made seven and I made five because we still made more than what we would have had, you know, individually. Mm -hmm. right. So we're past customers off. Like, you go ahead or... That's how we did. Or oh, even yeah. if it's our customer, I'm going to make it. Yeah. Go ahead, ring it in. Like, y'all got, like, a good rapport. Yeah, we, yeah, that's how it works. So, and I think that energy feeds yeah. your customers. They feel feel that energy mm -hmm. behind the bar. So that changes your tips, too. Yes, they do. So give me a neighborhood bar. But give me the bottle service right. at the party. Yeah. Right. Kid, you said you ain't have a good experience with the party. Talk about it. It was the whole, I think, intimidation thing. Because I know, like, I have, with me bartending, and especially the clientele that I was dealing with and the crowds that I was dealing with, and just working in my, like, at Lopez we had sections. So, mm -hmm. like, anybody tell you, my section is always lit. So <laughs> I had all that wow. pressure on me. So Lopez I worked club so in bad. Itself. That place that's 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 me out. Yeah. I mean, a lot of that. <laughs> With me working at one of the parties that I did, I'm not going to say no names or whatever or what happened, but with me working at one of the parties, I felt like, so I got basically hired to be a bottle girl. This is back, back in the day. Mm -hmm. Got hired to be a bottle girl, but one of my good friends that hired me, she was like, fuck that. They working too slow. I need you behind the bar. Mm -hmm. So I get behind the bar, and then some shit went down or whatever, whereas I felt like they really was intimidated by me because I was working so fast, and they couldn't really handle the pressure. Whereas I started swinging the line, like, y'all can come over here, y'all can come over here. So then the night, it was this big-ass argument about me. And I was just like, I'm not even supposed to be here. I'm doing a favor. But it's probably how you was introduced, though. I wasn't introduced. No, that's my point. You explain to my shit. But you got to pick up the page. You got to pick up the page. I get that you gotta pick up the pace, pace. but that's just like if me and you work in Bree on a Friday and then we come in and Kira there, mind you, we cool with Kira, but she there and ain't nobody give us no heads up yeah. or nothing, you gonna feel some But at the same so time, like, 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 you know, I would wonder, yeah. like, okay, we don't need three bars. Okay. We got this. But other than that, I'm more so. So, so this is an open bar party. So who fall is that? It's the owner. It's the owner. It's the owner. It's the owner. So, so, owners, so owners and hosts, be, be mindful of this when y'all have y'all events. Because especially when, yeah, yeah. yeah, so it's, yeah. yeah. Especially if you work with, you got to share tips. Because, baby, yeah, I don't know you. Yeah. Yeah. They want to share tips. And it's certain yeah. parties yeah. where you know, yeah. you know, it's certain parties where you know the crowd. Yeah. And that, you could be oh. available, standing there, waiting. Yeah. Uh -huh. But these five niggas know me. So yeah. they right. still going to wait for, for you. me. Yeah. So that don't necessarily yeah. always cut the ball down. But if I was introducing, like, oh, we vibing, I'd be like, yo, go to her. She gonna look out for you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's me working with you, not right. against you. But right. if somebody just throw you into my territory, I'm gonna be like, who the fuck? Or, but see, it was an open bar party, though. So I feel like it yeah, was every man for themselves already. So for me being there, it should have never been an issue. Right. Mm -hmm. I think it was the fact that I literally was taking all the customers. So then that's what you became. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Yeah, that was don't a bad job. Yeah, but shout out to that party I did. Like four hundred hours in Nashville. Yeah, that's what's up. Oh, like how y'all, how y'all feel about it? I would rather work a bar than a party, mm-hmm. to be honest. Mm-hmm. Only because I feel like the bar is kind of consistent. Mm-hmm. Um, the parties are kind of scattered. You're not going to get a party every day of the week. So mm-hmm. if I have a job at a bar, I'll still take a party. Mm-hmm. But I'm going to put my loyalty to my bar. Like if it falls on the same day, mm-hmm. this party, I'm not working the party. Yeah. Right. I'm going to work my job because this is what That's I have the, regulars at the bar. The People come there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this mm-hmm. is how I'm making my money every day. It might not be $600 in two hours, yeah. right. but I might go home with two or $300 every night versus me just working this one party. So I'm I think, working a regular bar. It's risky. It is calling out of work because he held a hype like this party gonna be so lit that you're gonna pay the work and then you don't make no money. I'm like, I get so mad. That has happened to me before. I got inside of trading because it's Ace Frank's event. I know before the public knows, so I already know what's what, what I'm doing. Well, the bar I was at last, we you know did parties and regular stuff, so it was like that was a good place to be, but uh. You know, count the pocket shit, come around. <laughs> so, so how y'all feel? So, I guess the most important part of bartending is the tips. So, what y'all got? What y'all feeling on tips? Period. I'm not oh sweating tips. I'm not. <laughs> no. So, not I'm like, like, no. and I work at an establishment. One of my establishments, I don't have a choice. I've been ordered to split. split tips. I ain't gonna tell my secret on how I can get around that. <laughs> So I do my little cash out yeah. crystal cause I yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not man, I had niggas coming in and they order one drink, don't drink it and say, Here go a hundred dollars. Here goes one. Yeah. You shouldn't me. Yeah. 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 This probably was one of my pieces that I'm hitting so bad. Like, I'm still I'm working this out for the family. So I'm not gonna put the, now I had to have That's a conversation right. with this That's nigga. Like look, right. You put twenty dollars, right? <laughs> right. You can't ask me the right thing. <laughs> I don't believe in splitting tips. And Crystal, you know, know, last week I had a customer tip me five hundred dollars mm-hmm. off of a seven dollar drink. Oh, mm-hmm. okay. Straight five hundred dollars. We know so. what it's voted for. <laughs> <laughs> I said, no. I'm dead. If I split that five hundred dollars, like because no, we were working together, yeah. I wouldn't want her money. Like mm-hmm. what? Yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 we work hard. Yeah. Yeah. And it's yeah. not even don't, about don't just pouring a drink. That's what I think some people don't realize when they don't tip. It's a network. It's a network. She was saying he don't work at Hill. Oh, <laughs> 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 we the trade. Like, <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> like, I won't even say sisterhood because we have a man in the room, but that's that familyhood. Like, I want to see my my fucking homegirl win when she get her money because the same way and Bria tell you. If they she work, I don't work. But I'm reposting her stuff. I'm yeah. like, go see her. Go yeah. see it. Go see it. Or one of my people's like, yo, I'm up here looking for you. I ain't there, but my home mm-hmm. girl is. Tip her. It's yeah. enough money for everybody. Everybody. Yeah. Everybody. Yeah. everybody. Yeah. everybody. Yeah. everybody. Yeah. And one thing about it, just because we cool, I can't look out for everybody. Yeah. Oh, hey, I cannot yeah. look yeah. out for Especially everybody. Cool yeah, yeah. Like, y'all don't tip me good enough to look out for me. I cannot do it. Every time I turn around, give me a little bit more. Give me a little bit more. Oh, I got you. Five dollars is not enough. Twenty is good. I'll take the twenty, but five is not enough. People forget that's y'all livelihood. But people forget that you're not for a It's a job. It's a job. Oh, like people think they cool. They don't gotta tip me good. Yeah. They don't gotta yeah. do it. Like, no. I, you think that I'm here just to be here with yeah. you? Exactly. No, I'm gonna make money. Yeah. This, yeah. Is the, like, this is the funniest thing I heard while I was working. I won't say where I was at. But I'm working, and nigga pull out a whole lot of money. So I'm like, all right, not that I'm pocket watching, but you gonna leave a tip. You, right. don't pull yeah. up, you gotta leave a dollar or something. So I pulled him a shot. I pulled him a healthy shot. This is me premeditating. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So really, it's like a double. If you think about how you measure it. So I thought I'd give it to him. So I'm like, you're not going to leave a tip? Because I'm a straight ex. You. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You're not leaving a tip? He like, baby, I'm a working man trying so to take care of a family. I said, oh, <laughs> fuck, you think I'm doing volunteer? <laughs> 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 That's why I don't like working. 
looking out for people because you sometimes you give them a them. drink. Let's say your drink mm-hmm. like $14. They're going to turn around and tip you $2. That no, drink that I just gave you give was me the, more than, like, tip me just a drink me at least exactly. or something. At least That's all I want. Just I'm giving you an $8 shot or something. Give me the $8 as a tip. Like, yeah. do something. Or even $5. Yeah. But don't shortchange yeah. me. I don't be rolling up today's job talking about some, can I get a discount? Don't do that to me. I don't care if I'm at the bar. Like, I'm a pharmacist. I don't come to your job for any pharmacy. <laughs> 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 any pharmacies, they're one. Any pharmacies. I don't really be real big on tips because I feel like all my tips are good. I mean, every time you I feel like they don't always you have it, but they do. When they got it, I they got it. So you. I'm not big. I've never been big on. So you don't like, feel like if you don't got it, you should stay the fuck home. No, I, 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 like you said, I don't like the advice. I really don't. I, people will tell you. Mm-hmm. It's been times, yo. She's mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. My customers. I really no, spoil my customers for, for real. Yeah. But because I know when they got it, they gonna look out. So we gotta talk about our regular. Yeah, I'm just. Well, if I don't know you, that's separate. But I got so many regulars where though going outside a little. So what I get from this is that in certain <laughs> places cool. you yes. can do that, but yes. so when you're in certain spots, you, you can't, can't do something. Can't. So, well, so all the bars I worked at, I always said, cool. yeah, and don't come out she complaining about prices, <laughs> talking about I could have bought a whole bottle. <laughs> like like I I little, then stay at home. So I have that with two different crowds, because all the bars I ever worked at, for the most part, I get tipped. I like even again, like you said, you haven't really been working in a club. Yes. When you're in a club and the people are twenty million dollars, I'm like, man. Spending your allowance. <laughs> 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 no, nope, I'm like, Trump, I know tax checks out, so where's the tip? Right. You yeah, got three motherfucking kids. I know you got 7,000. So, so, yeah. on a more on a more positive note, what's your best experience with bartenders? Ooh. Like, period. It, <laughs> it could be whatever tips or just experience at an event or work with like people. Like, people. Yeah. I like people coming. I can get drunk in a job and not feel bad. I, be too I feel like, you know, <laughs> yeah. getting a shot to Yeah, it's a good time. It's like a party in itself. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm not a drunk. It's person. like, it's almost no. like you going to work and you know Yeah. 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 That's like kind of like your home away from home. I wish I could. So, it's kind of like. You sober? I'm sober behind the bar. I might take a shot, and this will probably take me two hours to drink. Uh, I'm not a drinker. I'm not. 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 i am not i am not i am not so what's what's like? Um, <laughs> Go ahead. I guess the most rewarding part to me, I'll I'll say two things. So one, because of being on Tame Franks, and we don't always get along. It's days where I don't like some of these motherfuckers yeah. at all. <laughs> right. But I do like having that camaraderie as a as a team, as like a family. Like mm-hmm. when we want one one move, we all we move. move. Yeah. So when we go out, whether we're hosting an event or just out, right? People recognize. Oh, that's. Team Frank, yeah. like, and when I wear my chain, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, he, yeah, he got it. Right. So, right. so I appreciate <laughs> that, like, and, you know, not going into some of the stuff that we discussed in private, but I will tell y'all, one of the things when I do complain is when somebody does something and I'm like, this is not family, like, I don't like it, it's not, this is not how family should right. interact. Right. Yeah. So I do enjoy that part, and then of course, because of him, it's allowed me to travel and work in different states where you ain't, and again, there's no cat, ain't nobody in this city besides Howard moving and bringing his whole team yeah, and putting them behind the ball and they making money yeah, and they, they doing be. bigger, mm-hmm. bigger and better than be. a regular night in those yeah. states. Mm-hmm. So I appreciate being able to travel, make connections. Yeah. If I move to Atlanta, I know right now I got at least three spots I can go to and be like, I was down here with him exactly. and this is what I'm on. And they're gonna probably be like, mm-hmm. go ahead, yeah, I'm good. Yeah. Okay. So that's that's the benefit. That is good. Question <laughs> that is good. <laughs> Question for all of y'all. If somebody comes to your bar, like me personally, I don't really have a, a preference drink. I, I usually say Long Island or some shit like that. But if somebody sit down and I'm be like, you know, I'm looking like, 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 like,
at the bar. Like, he don't at a party, like I'm probably taking shots. This was a don't come to the party asking for. No, no mixed drinks, right? Even drink time time time. No, yeah, so like when I come to yeah. Chanel, I'll be like, just give me, yeah, give me, give me some, 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 some pretty some ass drinks. Right. Like, let me see that. Right. So if somebody sit at your bar, not a regular, just yeah. a person that's just come to visit, and he say, make me a special drink. What y'all drinking? What y'all making? All, right, all, all y'all, all of y'all. Lord, I make him a Manhattan. What's a Manhattan? Shit. A Manhattan is. You know what I mean? Yeah. Ice, ice cubes. It's really not much better. It's not. Besides the bitches. Oh, you don't have bitters? No. Besides the bitches. Oh, you don't have bitters? No. Besides the bitches. Oh, you don't have bitters? No. Besides the bitches. Oh, you don't have bitters? No. Besides the bitches. Oh, you don't have bitters? No. Besides the bitches. Oh, you don't have bitters? No. Besides the bitches. Oh, you don't have bitters? No. Besides the bitches. Oh, you don't have bitters? No. Besides the bitches. Oh, you don't have bitters? No. Besides Listen, they gonna keep bothering me if it's mm. my first time seeing them. I don't know them from nowhere. Right. Right. So this, get you this. Yeah. You gonna be sipping this the for a long minute. Yeah, like yeah. I don't know what you right. about. And if okay. you a drinker, you I can see that them. from yeah. that one drink. I can see if you a drinker or not. You just suck that shit right down. <laughs> then you don't want another one, another one. Okay. A drinker is gonna sip What's it. What's the power? Oh, this is strong. <laughs> I, I can tell this type from just that. You yeah. got a Long Island straight That's out of my face. Yeah. Chanel, the, the last time Chanel made me say I, I crashed my car. And oh no. It wasn't bad though. It wasn't bad. I ain't blaming her though. I ain't blaming her. You know what I'm saying? Because people want, people want strong, right or wrong, people want strong drinks, right? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm shot. That's what I'm saying. I'm going to catch you like that day. I did. It was only, I'm a lightweight though. I'm, I smoke. Where'd you get the first drink? I don't remember the first drink, but the second drink. I am off. He was just like, yo, I don't know what the fuck that was. It's something slight. I said, I'm making you a tequila sunrise. Something slight. You know what I mean? It's good, but still. It looked good. It looked good. Cheers. 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 Um, just Hennessy, Grand Marnier, mm-hmm. you know, kind of doing my little yeah. okay. extra mm-hmm. stuff. Like, <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah. That was yours. Yeah, the next yeah. yeah. If you like dark liquor, mm-hmm. I'm yeah. gonna go make you a French Connection or a green yeah. tea because I know it's yeah. something it Man. it's gonna get you right. Got enough liquor in it, but yeah. you're not gonna if you don't like the taste, it. it's not gonna mess you up too much. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then if you like light liquor, I got a couple plays on mules that I do because I love ginger beer so. I base my drinks basically off of the person for real. So I look at them first and I'll ask them, you know, whether they like like <laughs> dark. <laughs> I, <was about, laughs> yeah, yeah. I really like to like mix drinks. I really do. So yeah. I go based off like the person. So I'll ask them, you know, you want light or dark liquor? And I typically go from there. And I know yeah. if it's a man, not too many like real niggas like sweet drinks. Right. Yeah. yeah. So I just basically go that way. If it's a girl, I know they like it a little sweet. So I typically like to use like lemonade and cranberry. So, so since you go off with a person, let me paint a picture for you. Let's say white man, uh, collared shirt, glasses, hair spiked up, fat belly. He comes to Okay. Now, where Zoe Ford, how Crystal okay. said, I didn't have no ginger beer, no bed. Right. Yeah. So now I got that. You got a sophisticated crowd in there. Now, it's, okay. but so I got that during the weekend. On the weekends, I'm back in the hood. Okay. So, okay. so I got, you know, you got a lot of diversity. Mallets, so if it was that type streets. of guy, then I would just straight suggest like mallets too? Yes. Whoa. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Well, I'm going to call her Mallets. I'm going to call, but I do work on Saturday nights at Mallets. Well, we can't go there. Well, we got to wait till it's on Saturday. It's going to be a while, y'all. It's going to be a long time. Mallets is my little neighborhood. Oh, yeah. What's that? Mallets and Tom. Yeah. Tom. I love it. Listen, they be open at 11 o'clock. They better over there. You want to come back? The food is really good. Really, really good. Tom is good. Oh, wait, Mallets. Did you say you're drinking? Yeah, I don't want to say. Mallets is cool. Mallets is cool. 
I want to drop you off. All right, Brie, go ahead. What's your drink? So for me, I'm always going to say, do you like dark or light? Yeah. That's yeah. from the start. If you like dark, Hennessy. Oh, yeah. yeah. Always Hennessy. I'm going to show them what you're going to do. I'm going to do a Long Island. Light, I would never do a Long Island. Because I'm going to do a Long Island. Long Island is not my thing, but um, if you find my house, I will always make a drink. And these guys will always come in. I'm still here to go. And these guys will come in and say, you need to come up with a name. You need to come up with a name. And I didn't know. And one day he's like, name it the sexy braid. Oh, so when they come in, they put the sexy okay, braid. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> so I just make that because, you know, for men and women, so. Yeah. That's, that's my good thing. <laughs> you know what it is. Oh, 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 yeah. Your go to drink for the I'm like with Brie. He um, said um, the Manhattan. Okay. Manhattan. Old fashioned. Yeah. A lot of people I'm are strong. Now. You know what I mean? Like, but like y'all said, it depends on what, yeah. you, what you drink. Like, oh. I asked a female, like, what you like? She's like, oh, no, I, I don't want to taste my like I'm a freak. I asked what do you drink? I'm going to make my sunrise. Or I'm going to make my sunrise. Or I'm going to make my sunrise. You know, something sweet. You know, the regular sweet. Fucking, what is it?
Let me know. Right. And you're going to pay for that drink. Exactly. <laughs> and don't come to the fucking bar asking for shit that y'all seen on the menu at oh, Friday. Yeah, they, Baby, yeah. I don't fucking know. I don't know, know. Yeah. I don't know yeah. when yeah. you yeah. made yeah. a blue drink. I don't know what they are. 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 If somebody that thinking about trying to get into the industry but not sure, what do y'all feel like the qualities they have to have to enjoy this? Because I know it's a money that feel, but you really got. Yeah, I'm gonna say at least like personality. You gotta be friendly. Okay, you feel like you gotta be friendly though. Yes, yes. You gotta be friendly. There's a lot of mean bugs. You gotta be friendly. 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 You gotta be Mm-hmm. So I guess I guess yeah, if you if you're a person like that you gotta have a like a strict uh, clientele. You gotta be like strict you. friendly. Okay. Yeah, I'm strict. I call it professional. Yeah, yeah. That's exactly yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. Even yeah. though you're quite a dog, you have to remain professional. Yeah. You, have to mm-hmm. mm-hmm. you gotta be prepared mm-hmm. for the dumb shit. Like people gonna come yeah. to you and say stupid stuff all the time. They gonna yes. get mad at you. They gonna get drunk, and their whole personality gonna yeah. be a three six. Yeah, you gotta be. You gotta be prepared. Take the shit. Take the shit. It's like Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. It's like they get so nice when they come, and then when they get drunk, it's like. Bitch, but I want to know. <laughs> 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 I was every bitch in the book. Oh, yeah, like so you got to be put inside of a breeze was told this is probably a week or two ago. Oh, yeah. Keep his told she had with too much makeup. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. 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 Y
nothing. No, nah, nigga, because you knew. See, you you going to be on yeah. the toilet for this night over. You going to be shit. You don't know the lady. She's the only one that can make money. Is enough money out of If you're good enough at your job, somebody else coming in or doing whatever is not going to affect your bag. Like, you should be sitting up here mad. They can break somebody else in or whatever. So keep your regular. Let me make my little chunk change over here. But you like trying. Come on now. I don't know. Russell Gold. Whatever the hell you want. <laughs> so the same, y'all. It's like the internal, and external, it's internal and external customer service. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Like, yeah. I gotta deal with this shit in my main job. So it's like mm-hmm. when it comes to that bartending, to shit. see how certain people react to certain situations. I'm just like either side, you know, either on behind the ball or not side of the ball. You gotta mm-hmm. know how to deal with certain situations. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But like I said, some people just don't have that. Everybody doesn't have that. But it is internal and external customer service mm-hmm. at the end of the day. But the same way, go ahead. Oh, no, no, go ahead. No, no, no. I'm just saying, what? Y'all been in this bitch for a minute, right? <laughs> <laughs> what's, what's, what's some shit like y'all can tell me? Like, this, you know what don't I'm saying? Don't be shy. Because he a rookie. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm Nikki for me. I'm Nikki for me. Don't be shy. I'm damn sure. My first day of bar said that I was scared. I came out of a shirt wrapped around my waist. And this is your aunt. And she looked at me and said, You want to make money? I said, Yeah, she said, Take that shirt off. Yeah, I know that's a So I took the shirt off. I took all my stuff out. But hey, listen. Let me take the shirt off. I don't be no professional. There's one. I'm in the best penis and then it's great. Oh, did they say sexy grace? We can't be shy. I'm no, very, very shy. I'm not, 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 I'm not shy. Mark so, so, so speaking of... Grace is not they can vouch for that. They know I'm really shy. Y'all know yeah. I'm really shy. And it's like, it take a lot... It take a, until until I get the drink up in it. Like, it take a lot for me to show, like... Myself or whatever. Like yeah. I'm always, when I first started bartending, like I would wear like long shirts, cover myself yeah. up. Not but, 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 I so, feel like bartenders are control of how the party goes. So yeah. you I'm can't really be too shy. You know? <laughs> Sex sells, but you don't got to be slutty. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right, you don't got to be So what y'all, what y'all think, what y'all think, since he, because my next question was to ask how you feel like as a man in a, in a, a, a woman dominated field, how you feel like it go with you. But at the same time, two questions with that. Also, I want to know what y'all think about how y'all feel about men, bartending men. What y'all think about this? Yeah, they in a great position. Well, are they like straight men or gay men? Either way. Either way. Either way. Either way. Either way. See, the gay man is my good sis. Yes. Like, how are you going to run it up? And then let me know if this nigga is <laughs> trained. Yeah. 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 I'm over here flirting and all this shit the whole time. He don't, he like the same thing. Yeah. 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 So, like, shout out to Trey. Oh. <laughs> he loves Trey. Officially booked, Mr. Officially booked. But no, I like male boss in this. But some of y'all, no offense, y'all be like too aggressive. Too I be like, aggressive. yo, are you a button or security? Like, oh, aggressive how? That's well, not you. Hey, well, we got a different traffic. Oh, Mark, yeah. oh we, Mark was too aggressive. He was out of his fucking mind. Oh, he was too. What, what, what and we did well like? together. Yeah, he was. Losing it, like he was just trying to be that bartender. It's like okay. he's the bartender, the owner, the manager. Yeah, like we not 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 we like women on the opposite end, mm-hmm. and this this we women we use it too. Mm-hmm. Pay your women a customers like a compliment, mm-hmm. yeah. or oh, when yeah. they when they tip, just oh. like if, if a female tip me, I'm all oh, thank you, baby, or mm-hmm. they right. you are so pretty, oh you fat as shit too. Yeah. Like yeah. I'm yeah. giving it yeah. right yeah. to fuck yeah. 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 but men don't fit. They feel like. Yes, you yeah, are. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I feel like you know, you really know him. You know he has a lot of personality. Oh, he's, he's cool. Yeah, he's so, perfect. Oh so, my, that's why I say it's not yeah. him. Like some male, male bosses, I'd be like, baby, you know it's just strength, right? But like, you, do y'all feel like certain people can work in certain uh, environments, like? Versus parties, versus restaurants and bars. Like, it's, it's you can't, everybody can't do both, yeah. right? It all depends on your attitude, I think. Okay. Yeah, I think it depends on your looks. 
Yeah, that is what I was thinking. How would you think me world. being in a party shit? Like, how would that party <laughs> no. shit go? No. 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 No, but I think speaking from experience, I think like yeah, parties, you more it's good. gonna be a lot of niggas gonna exactly. be like girls, especially yeah. if a nigga don't like a nigga or yeah. they like I'm gonna go to a a nigga gonna go to a girl before they go to a nigga at the bar. Yeah. But you will get your money, you ain't it ain't a loss though, because anything you get is a, is a plus. So. Yeah, but at the same time, like girls so. mind you, and again, this is a plug for Trey. Trey sells tables, right? But. The average party promoter is not going to put a nigga on their team oh, unless yeah. they're good yeah. at something else other than Because they know the girls Trey wasn't bring a bring the guys. Trey is public relations. Yeah. Okay. So Trey is a talker. Yeah. Yeah. He got connections. Yeah. Uh-huh. That's how he ended up behind the ball. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. But every nigga, even females, I won't go to certain people parties uh-huh. because balls. I don't, or balls, yeah. I don't <laughs> like the females. Yeah. Right. And it's yeah. not that I don't like them because we be fine. Yeah. I don't like the way you look. Okay. I'm not that mean. I mean, I like how you treat people. I feel like when you bartend, and you gotta treat that shit just like any other job. So oh, by daytime, I'm an HR director, so I'm super professional. Hi, yeah. how are you? Uh, whatever. Find your team. Yeah. <laughs> but when I'm coming, I want to see the the girl that got a body together or got the right clothes on for her body, because everybody's not a size six or eight. Right? And I'm not. So, but I don't feel like everything is for everybody. Like, oh, I don't want to see. The fucked up head. Yeah. Like, I don't oh, go to parties, certain enough. promoters, no She's shade to them. Same thing no, you seriously, if exactly. you take your shoes off in a party, if yes. the bitches walk, if it's I see one or more bitches walking around with shoes off, that's not the party. It's not the party. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> because I'm going to bring a vibe that I want to be around. Yeah. I don't yeah. want to be around yeah. the ratchet. Now, yeah. if I go to my little hood bar and exactly. sitting back, you know what you expect. I know what it is. Yeah. But when I go out, out, I require. You and want I want my, my not. service to not look. Not. I want to be like, damn, these bitches bad shit. Yeah. 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 Pretty. Mm-hmm. I, I don't want yeah. no yeah. Yeah. Brie in the bathroom. But that video I saw on Raw Stern with the bitches, I think they was fighting. Uh-huh. One had a big ass belly butt <laughs> slide across the floor like a wet seal. Oh my god! Shout out to them. Shout out to them. Shout out to them. Shout out to them. I don't want Raw to feel on type of way because I don't want Raw. I don't feel like, and again, so I'm biased a little bit. My degree is in marketing, so I think about presentation. Mine too. You beat 24. I'm not bringing you. Yeah. I'm not coming to the party with the girl that's sliding around, yeah, yeah. and you look like you got an inner tube. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh, wow. That's not a trick. Wow. 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 I, I mean, shit, to each his own. So who disagree with me? Y'all still going to go to the party with that shit? No. No, 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 you he stepped out. He stepped out of his time. What are your ago. expectations? For My expectations. I don't really. The last, the last uh, situation we had, Larry did it because he's the one that still do the parties while he was in it, but. I mean, shit. I, every, every time that I had my own drinks, I always put people on that out that I like my family and people that I know the bartender. I don't think I've had any complaints, but I, it's the game changed from when I was doing them like that, like that, like when I had the trap house party. That was at um, San Grier, so they already had they bartenders. The most recent party, Larry used his team and back in the day. Back in the day, I told you, Larry, yeah, did, but did, back yeah, in the day, yeah, when I had my own shit, I, I think I whoever was bartending that was in my family or around, they did it. And so do you not feel like bartenders, servers should have a certain look? Oh yeah, especially in the party. I think you should look nice, presentable. In a party, that's what I look like. No, I mean, at the end of the day, niggas don't care what the fuck a bartender looks like. They say, if you had a party, if you had a party, they care. I think, I think, I think, I think you personally, I think it makes, I think it makes it, I think it makes a difference. But I mean, I didn't even think. 
Okay, I got it. Okay, I think. Crystal, what we talking about getting? Let's try to get the. Let's go way back. We're going to talk to me. We're going to let you answer your question. Because the owner of Green Eyes, our customers, when you come back out, we have a fund for the team, okay? <laughs> so <laughs> both Bree and I, mind you, I'm sure. Y'all put me in that. I really want to lose weight. We got way till we get out first. What are you going to do with this? They trying so to raise Bree, money to get well, this. Well, Bree and I, we both got ass. So I'm short, Bree tall, I'm light, she dark. We both got ass. What size y'all aiming for on titties? I need to speak up. That's a handful. I feel that. I'm so when y'all get your team plan, let me um get my butt done. My, I know my my, 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 Thick you already know, you see, they, 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 they y'all was here, but they them. said they wanted to hire at the 2 o'clock. Oh, oh, yeah, the sure show And I, I was like, I mean, like, no, 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 no. Right now, Bree, the breast implants is only going for about 23, no, 25 okay. minutes. Oh, bitch, I'm about to go. So, you know, we can make that in a month. That's one month. We can make that one every month. Not less than a month, sis. Y'all taking a trip together. It's a good two Fridays. Not together. Y'all taking a trip together. We can take money. I don't get my take a This is some hot ass shit. Hey, but this, this is this is to it's let no, you know how good this bartending game is. You can change oh, can your whole. Even though I've had my customers, because some of my customers, oh, I let them man. know like I want my surgery. Mm -hmm. So I'm straight up telling you, Crystal is crazy. So help, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Let me get that I'm, a, I'm a good friend. I'm a good bartender. Yeah. So I'll be, I be like, I had a shot at the mission. Yeah, for real. Wait, wait. Did I tell my customers? I said you. I. Oh, yeah, I'm trying to get to city. Yeah, and this is no pants. I have had friends and customers be like, I ain't paying for this shit. Like, you don't need it. Like, Dang, I can't bring the value. Don't tell me what I need. I want it. Listen, it's not always gonna be sweet being a bartender. Don't let us excite you. We don't always make a lot of money. And that's on that. Yeah, like sometimes we make mediocre money. But at the end of the day, it's fun. Ladies first. And we do enjoy our jobs because we keep coming back. Yeah, of course. Totally. But like, <laughs> it's going to be days that she don't make a oh, shit ton of money. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's going to be days that you are like, why do I work here? Yeah. Why am I coming back to this place? Yeah. I just wasted my time. I could have home. Yeah. You know, like, so let's but just talk about the, the ugly the, side. You take yeah, the, like the ugly. And you got to be little. And that's, yeah. the, that's the thing. I know I get a. I used to. But when you look at your bank account, you're like, damn. I'm I used to get a lot of DMs from people that was like, <laughs> like so is H rank hiring? How can I get put on? And mind you, I never, probably because I'm HR, yeah. I never was like, no, bitch, he ain't hiring. No, I'm dead. Well, he was looking for somebody. Mm -hmm. I didn't. I don't move like that because I think of karma. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But a lot of females don't realize when it comes to bartending, bottle service, they think that you just come behind the bar, how yeah. hard is it to pour a drink? Boy, it's not, it's a lot. Not, it's a lot. They, they, don't, they don't respect y'all. You, 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 you do a lot. You got emotionally too. People and you're accountable. You all that shit on you're you. You're accountable for money. They be like, you the bartender? Like, yeah, bitch. And not even that, like, sometimes people don't realize the work that goes on behind the scenes. Especially when you work for parties or like party for a ready for a party, yeah. No. You, you, you right. I, I tell everybody, okay. you can be ready, ready for ready. what you prepare for. Okay, yeah. It's for about sure. being prepared. Yeah. But gotcha. like me, working with H Franks, and again, this is not no dub in him. Yeah. I have to promote whether I'm working or not. So when you got a full time job, I'm HR. I work in healthcare. Mm -hmm. I'm bartending two, three times a week. Mm -hmm. The person that you still work for, they still expect their business. They've been twenty four yeah. hours. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. nonstop. Mm -hmm. So I it's not. Paid. I yeah. So hopes. you know, you know, I meet you at like two o'clock in the morning. Like I want a table, and you like. Right. Yeah. And then y'all know Baltimore niggas don't have cash at checking account, so now you yeah. gotta go oh, meet up. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but then they gonna spend you because they they up here so well, I'm gonna be ready at two. Now it's four o'clock and you like yeah. so it's a lot that goes Shit, behind it. But I, it's just like strippers. People yeah, see the sure. people yeah. see the money or what they think is the money. Mm -hmm. And now I don't the credit, right? When yeah. you work at certain establishments. Everybody
everybody won't work when it's the party to happen. Yeah. 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 But you don't. But you you, you got to work point. when it's the slow yeah. night. Yeah. 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 You can't get that. A lot of places are not yeah. always going to have those days. Eight pull out, ain't no motherfucker. Not one person. Yeah. Not one person. You like that eight days and pull out with somebody coming in and pick you like a hundred dollars or something like that. Maybe, but that's not all the time. That's what I'm saying. It's not all the time. I don't work. You have to take the slow day. I work for fifty dollars. Like you have to take the slow day. So, so with that, with that being said, you just if you jumping in the career, you just gotta be mindful of what you. You take every night. Yeah. 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 That was my next question, too. You can't come in this bitch and spin what the fuck you just said. My next question was... You can't sneak it either, because they're going to notice that. Nobody was in here. Do y'all feel like like being a bartender enhanced y'all drinking? No, 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 I was a drunk before I was a drunk. Listen, I was serving drinks before I was a bartender. Oh, listen, yeah. I felt safe. Yeah. 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 You are the drinker. I'm not going to drink it like that. I just got made my drink it. Because you got the drink. I don't drink every shit. If a promoter or every shit, if they tell me I can't drink, whether I agree with it or not, I'm still on It's their business because the drink, I can do that shit afterwards. Yeah, I still yeah, want my yeah, money, yeah. so I ain't about to go money back and forth with you. Whatever you say for whatever your perception is yeah. of how I performed or lack of or whatever, mm-hmm. you got it. That's I'm not going to fuck up my money right. because yeah. I want to have a drink. Because mm-hmm. the thing is, it. I might have a shot before I get in this exactly. motherfucker. Right. And then yeah. when I'm going home yeah. and I'm yeah. counting them. Yeah. 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 And they don't know, sometimes people really drink. To like let go of like all the shit. Like people really come to their best selves when they get drunk. Yeah. Like and that's not always the best thing. But I know people who like, like really are totally different when they drunk. Like their extroverted yeah, totally, personalities yeah, uh, you know, yeah, come like, out when I they get drunk. Like, so yeah. it's like I know a lot of people that get drunk before like, coming into work yeah. or yeah. past tense. You know, drunk to get the edge off. Yeah. 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 I used to feel like me like working with so many different people. I used to feel like me drinking yeah. wasn't yeah. a problem yeah. as long as my money was right. Now, right. if my money oh, fucked yeah. up, yeah. then yeah. I, I all me. But shit. I also, because I'm HR, I understand mm-hmm. it's a... Again, you the owner. I don't got the power right, right. now. Mm-hmm. So if you say you don't want me to drink, I ain't going to drink. I ain't gonna no drink. problem, boss, because I'm coming in this bitch for three, four hours making five, six, seven hundred dollars. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to go out and dance. I got enough money at this night to buy a bottle, yeah. go to the fucking house, yeah. or go to the casino. Exactly. So it's not, it's not worth it. I respect yeah. the people that I work for. Yeah. If they feel like this is not a good look for their brand, mm-hmm. I have no choice. But but yeah. respect respect it. It. So it's not problematic for them. Some people can't control themselves when they drunk behind the they bar. Like, I work with mm-hmm. this man, um, and he's an older man, so I don't understand how mm-hmm. he's <laughs> Can we take a shot? I don't want to take a shot. Are we doing a social? Yeah, somebody get on camera one time. I'll get it. Hold on, we'll be on camera. Real intermission is the shot. The bartender is the bartender. Watch it, watch it. My daughter is over here talking about, sorry I missed your call. Seems to be playing phone tag. What are you doing during the corona? We need answers. Cheers on three. One, two, three. Cheers. cheers. All right. Somebody yeah. boomerang that? I did. I did. Yeah. <laughs> so, so my next question was, hey, that's how y'all feel about? That's what I'm I got all these beautiful ladies around. Everybody in here got regulars. Like y'all got regulars at y'all spot. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. Like, well, well, at the bar. I can see them as regular family. family. Like everybody that come to me, oh, yeah, like I established that relationship right. and rapport with. So everybody is family to me. So I don't even That's really consider them as regular. Even true. with me. So I don't know if y'all know, but I was working at Loafers and. That burned down. Like when I say, I can't even consider them as regulars. Yeah, I had like the outreach was amazing. That's great. Yeah. How was the experience at Lofus? Because I know yeah. Lofus was like a club. Lofus on the chain. I know, know Lofus. She liked like it. I know she liked it. I don't miss Lofus though. I would have went back if the owner wasn't so crazy. The owner is an asshole. He invited me to his club, and when I was like, "Hey, you got another job." You can't work in he he wanted you to do the first one. The day I worked at Howard's New Year's party, yeah. he told me not to come back if I worked at Howard's party. Yeah, I said, because he was, he, well, he, 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 he was, 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 he was,
Look, baby, you a fucking fool if you think I'm an HR director. And if you want to do this, this how HR is. You think I'm going to quit my yeah. That's how he was. Yeah. That's how yeah. crazy he is, though. He told me oh, not to come wait, back. And then text me the next day saying, okay, you can come back. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not playing these games. It was a power trip. Yeah, it was a power trip. We got to do the same thing. I've been there for so long. And that's the thing. Club owners, restaurant owners, bars, promoters, y'all kind of the same. They're going to try to play with you. They affect your money. Yeah. Because you play with me. It's too many bars yeah, and promoters and other things shit. going mm-hmm. on that, like, if you play with me, I can go somewhere else. Yeah. Like, we just gonna carry like, it straight like you that. Have to pick up the same way you gonna replace me with somebody else, I can replace this bag with another one. So, I'm not about to be sitting up here rearranging my whole life around and yeah. not being able to do what I need to do for my life because of your bar. I was, like, so that. surprised when he, I said, sir, I'm HR. Like, mm-hmm. yeah, he I wanted you to devote your life to Lopez. That's who that, 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 that is a million dollars. Million dollars. Establishment. Yeah. So it's game. So it's it's no, I tried to get a job that I was. When I walked in, I knew for sure how much I was gonna make every single day, reg- regardless. What's the most you made? And the money is good though. The, the, most, I, the most I made is probably the like money, 14, 15 on a Friday night by but myself. The money is good. Seen, the the most I made was like yeah, 15 dollars. And I was. That's a lot of work. But that's good. But think about right now. Corona shut down, and guess what? My real job. I'm going. See, that's the thing. Like, I think he was looking at more of so a billion. Yeah, it's for you. I'm not spoiled. I'm going to have to go hard for that money. Yeah, exactly. I'm going to have to go hard for this. I was a server. What's, what's, what's y'all what's y'all y'all best and worst night bartender? Oh. If y'all don't mind, give us a, ra- a oh, ballpark. Ball 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 my, my worst night was when I first started. It was at Hooters. Remember, we got yeah. cut together. I walked out that bitch with three dollars. I was like, you there. but we, this, we worked at Hooters like for like five years. Yeah, yeah like we yeah. was, which is like twenty years in Hooters years. Yeah, yeah. 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 No, nah, we used to get new girls every weekend, yeah. and we used to run right through the girls. Like, Shout out to Boy. Yeah. 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 That was my yeah. Yeah. night. That was my late night in Hooters. Thank you, Boy. Mayweather came through. Yeah. What he bless y'all? Bless my whole life. I made it. Like, <laughs> 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 well, I was only there for like an hour, and I made eight hundred dollars off that party. So oh, this was, was Hooters yeah. was lit. Yeah. Which one? Yeah. 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 Right. You can't wow. work there right if you got tattoos. But you can yeah, come up. I had a tattoo on my hand. I had tattoos galore. I had tattoos when I was in the house. No, no, I don't want to record it. 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 I don't was probably I made like seventeen hundred dollars. I was doing cocktail serving at um Bali's and Future mm-hmm. them came in there. Yeah, yeah. Future them. Okay. Yeah. Free bank. Future. But everybody else, everybody go down the line. My worst night. Um, I mean, I've only been at no bar <laughs> right now. Um, I've been I've worked at the Raven Stadium too, so I did like little bartending. Put me on a Raven Stadium. I, I walked out. Okay, I peed. Yeah, same. Worst night at no bar. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. I've had a lot of bad nights in the world. I'm not even gonna lie. Like not making a lot, but I've had a lot of good nights as well. Right. Your worst um, night what's your good night? Oh, be, shit, um, we got this customer coming in shit, all the time. Um, and he always tips well. One time he was just very, very generous. This one time, and he tipped me like three hundred dollars. And this was just this one night. And I ain't talking about about that. But he was very generous that night. Um, that was probably my bre- that was probably my best friend. No, this is him. I'm so wrong to him, y'all. Oh, middle. I'm sorry. 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 I'm sor
<laughs> now, it was a little well, bullshit party. I'm not even going to cap. That party was like some new upcoming <laughs> promoters or whatever the case may be. Like, they didn't know what they was bitch. doing. I finessed them. Yeah. I won't say who y'all are. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I did well. I did well because right. they were just a cuckoo for Coca Puffs. Mm-hmm. And I made a thousand dollars off these little guys. Thank you so much, guys. <laughs> <laughs> my worst nights, um, I made $35 at Noir. And that's because that was my shift back. <laughs> <laughs> and that was that. <laughs> I got sent home. <laughs> you know that. That was so it. I feel like um my best was night was what I told y'all about. Um but honestly every night at Lopez was good. I'm gonna miss that place, you know. Can it be open I'm gonna say Summer Bay. Are they They not open it. They not open it. Is it crack? Oh, oh, is dead. Dead. Like, oh, it dead. Oh, it's it's dead. Dead. I thought they was like, it's not coming back. Go to the house. I told you so. I'm still hard to know. Yeah, Marriott. And that's hit or miss. So, what was your worst? My worst has been Marriott. I mean, it's not bad, but it's not what I'm used to. No. Carol has been at Oliver's. No. She's drowning. 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 She's drowing. She's drowning. 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 She's drowning.
page. I plead. No, 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 <laughs> Our worst night is probably a Thursday. Yeah. It's three of us. It's mm-hmm. three of us. Shout out to Ty. Shout out to Ty. Yeah. Shout out to Ty. Y'all know Tyson. 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 Yeah. So she bought this with that shit on Thursday. Yeah. Okay. Like Thursdays, y'all. Like motherfucker, me and Nell. You know, it's my sister. You know, this my nigga right here. You know me on on God. You know. That's on bail. You know. Y'all really feeling it though, right? I love it. Y'all really feeling it though. 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 First Friday. Man, no came out that motherfucker spray eight dollars a piece. Alright, Chris, go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, right. 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 Yeah, so, in and, and, and closing, we're going to do a part two on this. We got to, but in yes, closing, you get yes. enough. But everybody, listen, you got enough information about bartending, the good, the bad, the Stop worst, all that. Cheap. Stop being 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 cheap. I'm Big Kara. Y'all ain't know what's up with me. <laughs> Y'all ain't know what's up with me. Y'all ain't know what's up with me. Kara. That's on that. At no bar. Oh, I'm Kara. I'm at the Marriott Waterfront. You know, if you want a nice, cool, different vibe, come down there. I can set the tone for you, get your night started. I love it. Yeah. I'm also at Mallet's, uh, which is located on Ingleside, like right, probably like two blocks It's a safe yeah, way Ingleside. in the Shout Gas Station. Yeah, Ooh. not that far from like the Chick fil A and the Sam's Club. Everybody yeah. knows that. Yeah. 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 What's, your, yeah, what's your, your social media? Oh, pretty crazy uh, with two Y's underscore. <laughs> What pretty crazy with two eyes? Mm. Pretty with the two crazy. eyes or the crazy? With yeah, two right, eyes. right. Just spell pretty. That's your T T Y Y and then two Y's. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Right. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
come see us. Once the quarantine oh, is yeah. over, we out here. Okay? Yeah, we out here. We out here right now. And if you need a bartender for your house parties, yeah. I have my own business called BYOB. Bring your <laughs> own bartender. Bring your 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 own it's March, it's March 22nd. It's yeah, the 22nd is. day of quarantine. Yeah. Listen to all of <laughs> And when, it, when it's over with, we back ready to get back in the house. And the people are coming in. 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 And the